Okay, this is the SmartQ7 uh, internet tablet. It says so right there, internet tablet. Um, it's uh, pretty small for a seven inch tablet. Good size screen. Uh, it's got hardware buttons, which is nice. Um, page up, page down, select. It's got a built-in stylus. It's got a regular SD card slot, which is nice. You don't have to spend the extra money for the micro SDs. It, it does take uh, micro or SDHC. Has a built-in kickstand, which is nice for when you want to set it on the desk. Um, reset button on the edge. It's got power, USB, and another USB. Traditional A socket, and this is a USB on the go. Also has a headphone jack. Uh, we've got power, um, escape, and stop. So let's boot it up and take a look. Pretty fast boot up. Definitely less than a minute. <clears throat> it's all touch screen interface. It has a very good uh, touch screen. It is resistive, but it still does a really good job. Uh, has a pop up keyboard. The full keyboard, you can switch it to just the letters. You can also switch it to a full screen keyboard that's transparent and you use your entire thumb to type. Uh, I use this one 99% of the time. Um, it has a good built in browser, uh, Midori. It is running a uh, mini distribution of Ubuntu. So anything in the Ubuntu ARM branch will uh, will work on it no, no problem. Um, it'll go to just about any website you want. Of course, it will not uh, won't handle flash. Almost none of this stuff does, so no YouTube. You can download it and play it in the media player. But uh, it does have to do a little bit of scrolling, or you can zoom out to see the entire screen. Uh, it does shrink a little bit. You can also do full screen mode, so everything, the browser takes up the entire screen. A little browser. Um, I'm, it, since it does have a USB port on the side, it'll accept uh, docking stations, you name it. I'm going to plug in a hub and uh, use a mouse and a keyboard to show you the rest of it. A little stand that I made, let me adjust the camera. So it'll do, um, one of the things I like to do is use it to, uh, when it's charging, I like to just leave it uh, plugged in and use it as a photo viewer or to play slideshows. And this is Mirage, it's a free photo viewer with a good slideshow. Got a very nice color screen. Um, 
a lot of people buy these things for PDF viewers or for ebooks. Um, you can have any size SD card you want in there. And you can put as many ED, uh, PDF ebooks on there as you want. There's thousands available for free online. Portrait mode. Sorry, it's hard to get this entire thing. It's so big. It has a full screen book reader. Works very well. You see things picked up very quickly by the operating system. Um, let's see, it will play video. It's not its strongest feature, but it will play them. You can kind of see the video quality. It's just a little jittery, depends on the encoding. But uh, you can watch good movies on this, no problem. And you don't need the keyboard or anything in. You can. Uh, do it all from the touch screen. Go little computer, does just about everything you needed to. Anyways, definitely you should, something you should check out. It's also instant on. Lots of programs. You can uh, you can use all the different programs that are available in the Ubuntu arm. You can install emulators and you name it. I mean, they even have GIMP for this, but I don't really want to do photo editing on this thing. So. Hope that's, uh, wow, it ended up being a nine minute video. <clears throat> Hope it wasn't too boring.